Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Al Khair Palace. His Majesty the King was briefed on the outcomes of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's successful official visit to the United States last week, which resulted in signing the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement between the two countries and the talks held with senior U.S. administration officials on broadening bilateral cooperation towards further integration in the security, military modern technology, trade and investment fields, in addition to strengthening regional security and economic systems. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the pride in His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's role and prominent efforts in developing the paths of Bahrain-U.S. cooperation, coordination and joint action, as well as strengthening the Kingdom's long-standing robust partnership with the U.S. and various brotherly, allied and friendly countries, and for His Royal Highness's keenness on consolidating the Kingdom's status and competitiveness, as well as its leadership role in the regional and global arenas. His Majesty praised the outstanding results of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's visit to the U.S., which is, uh, forms the beginning of a new phase of strategic partnership with the U.S. to consolidate security and prosperity and boost development in the region and the world. His Majesty the King affirmed the Kingdom's civilizational approach that is based on strengthening international cooperation, consolidating peace, and promoting economic development and prosperity in the region and the world, noting that the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement provides an opportunity for all countries to build a better future for the entire world by supporting regional and international stability to achieve peace and sustainable development. The meeting was attended by His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rasha bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Public Affairs Minister at the Royal Court. Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar al Naimi, and the Deputy National Security Advisor, Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Jabir al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa received Bahrain's ambassador to the U.S., Stephen Bundy, accompanied by the Deputy Chief of Mission, David Brownstein, at Al Khair Palace. His Majesty the King reviewed with the U.S. ambassador the long standing Bahrain U.S. relations and their advancement in various aspects of cooperation. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the ambassador for contributing to the arrangements for the official visit made recently by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, to the U.S., during which the comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement was signed. The agreement will enhance Bahrain-U.S. cooperation across a range of areas, from defense and security to emerging technology, trade and investment. His Majesty expressed pride in the Bahrain-U.S. historical relations and strategic partnership with a long history of understanding and coordination, as well as joint work to serve joint goals and interests, noting the development and growth of cooperation in various fields. His Majesty the King also commended the U.S. administration's efforts and pivotal role in establishing and maintaining regional and global security, stability and peace. An implementation of the Royal Directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to provide urgent humanitarian relief aid to the victims of torrents and floods in Libya. The Royal Humanitarian Foundation prepared the first relief aid shipment to Libya under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the humanitarian stances of His Majesty the King affirm his keenness to provide continuous humanitarian initiatives to help brotherly and friendly countries and those in need in various parts of the world which comes within Bahrain's efforts to consolidate international solidarity and based on the fraternal and humanitarian ties that connect the people of the world. His Highness praised the support the RHF receives from the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressing that the RHF is honored to implement the directives of His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that Bahrain stands by the Libyan people in their humanitarian crisis as the RHF is working to prepare a shipment of urgent relief aid which contains the relief and medical materials they need, wishing Libya and its people security and stability. For his part, the RHF Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayyid expressed appreciation for the directives of His Majesty the King to send an urgent shipment of humanitarian relief to aid to Libya. 
He also expressed appreciation for the support of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, praising the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser for the humanitarian work carried out by the RHF. Dr. Sayed also praised the presence of the Vice Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the RHF, Sheikh Adnan al Gattan, during the inauguration of the aid shipment. He explained that, based on the Royal Directors under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, an urgent relief shipment has been prepared in cooperation with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Health, and the Ministry of Finance and National Economy. The General Sports Authority and the Bahrain Olympic Committee signed an MOU with the Serbian Ministry of Sports and National Olympic Committee. The MOU was signed on the sidelines of the official visit of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports First Deputy Chairman, GSA Chairman and BOC President, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and the accompanying delegation to Serbia to attend the 2023 World Wrestling Championships. His Highness Sheikh Khalid signed the MOU on behalf of the GSA and the Bahrain Olympic Committee and from the Serbian side by Minister of Sports Zoran Gajic and the President of the Serbian Olympic Committee Bozadir Mukric. The signing ceremony was attended by GSA Vice President Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the Minister of State in Serbia Marko Kvicic. In addition to the GSA CEO Dr. Abrahman Sadiq Askar and the BOC Secretary General Faris Mustafa Al Kohiji and Deputy Ambassador of Bahrain to Russia Yasser Al Haddad. On the occasion, His Highness expressed pleasure with the signing of the MOU, noting that the agreement will pave the way for exchanging expertise and experiences, organizing training camps, enhancing prospects for cooperation in various sports, and benefiting from Serbia's capabilities in the technical, administrative, and medical fields. His Highness said that the MOU is in line with the keenness of the GSA and BOC to increase cooperation with various developed countries in the sports field, including Serbia. Supreme Council for Youth and Sports First Deputy Chairman, General Sports Authority Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, attended the opening ceremony of the 2023 World Wrestling Championships. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed his pleasure at attending the opening ceremony based on the official invitation he had received. He praised the outstanding success of the ceremony and the massive presence of sports leaders and representatives of wrestling associations from various countries. His Highness affirmed the distinguished status enjoyed by Serbia in the sports fields, which entitles it to host various international championships, wishing it a successful organization of the 2023 World Wrestling Championships.
The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of runner Win Fred Yavi winning the 2023 World Athletics Diamond League title in the women's 3,000 meter steeplechase and achieving the second best global time in history in this race. His Highness affirmed that this achievement reflects the support the sports sector receives from His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness, and His Highness Sheikh Nasser. He also added that the achievement reflects Yavi's high level and distinguished capabilities in this race, who announced her intention to compete in the women's 3,000 meter steeplechase gold medal at the 2024 Paris Olympics. His Highness wished her continued success. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa visited the University of Bahrain to be informed about the developments of the future building of the College of Engineering. He affirmed that the quality and efficiency of Bahrain's education infrastructure are the outcomes of the ongoing efforts to enhance the performance of the education sector and its national institutions. He added that it aims to achieve the goals of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He also said that Bahrain always attached special attention to formal education and expressed pride in the national cadres that contributed to building the progress of the nation. The Deputy Premier reviewed a presentation on the project to relocate the College of Engineering to the UAB campus in Sikhir and the advantages of designing its buildings. The future College of Engineering will be built on a total area of 252,000 square meters and will contribute to developing the region's infrastructure and facilities that serve students. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah highlighted the importance of the educational environment and motivating university students to achieve the highest levels of excellence and creativity. He indicated that the new premises will pave the way for a new start for the engineering work given the capabilities that the college will provide to students and those working in engineering specializations upon its completion and beginning of its operation. He added that the project is a distinctive step towards more creativity and innovation based on the advanced key components it will provide to the engineering sector. Education Minister and UAB Board of Trustees Chairman Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak Jum'a praised the care accorded to educational establishments by His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness. He expressed sincere thanks and gratitude to the Deputy Prime Minister for his visit, reflecting the government's great interest in the education sector. He noted that the project paves the way for restructuring the college, strengthening the link between engineering specializations and technology, and enhancing its response to the requirements of local, regional, and global labor markets. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa launched the newly developed University of Bahrain application on the sidelines of his visit to the university. He affirmed that under the leadership of His Majesty the King and with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Bahrain is keen to enable the national and local universities to be leaders in the field of information technology and digital transformation, which will lead to improving the higher education sector services and increase universities' competitiveness. He affirmed that Bahrain attaches utmost interest in education as it is the best means to achieve sustainable development, noting that continuing scientific and resource development will create universities capable of leading innovation and creativity. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed UOB's commitment to training its employees to use modern technologies to accomplish academic goals and conduct scientific research. He was briefed by the president of UOB, Dr. Fuad Al Ansari, about the most prominent advantages of the electronic application and the facilities it provides to all users as part of the university's electronic system. Earlier this month, UOB president stated that the application provides students with an electronic communication environment to assist with academic issues.
The Deputy Prime Minister congratulated UAB students and members of the academic and administrative authorities on the beginning of the new academic year, wishing them success. He urged the students to work hard in their studies and to achieve their goals and academic and professional ambitions and raise the kingdom's status to remain at the top of human development. He expressed appreciation for the efforts of the university's administration and its early preparations for the students to begin their academic year smoothly. He held the role of the university's professors in fulfilling their humanitarian message to serve the country and its current and future generations. The President of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, with the participation of the American Chamber of Commerce in Bahrain and in cooperation with the American Cooperative Society for International Patient Programs, launched the American Bahraini Healthcare Partnership Forum. More on this report. A group of specialists and decision makers in the health sector from the United States gathered in Bahrain to meet their Bahraini counterparts and discuss ways of cooperation in the field of healthcare between the two countries and enhance aspects of international cooperation in this field. The idea of this forum is to bring uh, hospitals and research organizations together to improve diagnoses, to improve treatments, and to, and to improve overall health care for Bahrainis and residents of Bahrain. We're really looking forward to some fantastic things coming from this forum. An ideal platform in the field of healthcare in which participants discussed a number of essential topics to identify more promising opportunities to enhance cooperation between American hospitals and their counterparts in the public and private sectors in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It's important to focus on the pediatric because they are the future of our world, right? So by working in a pediatric hospital and focusing on the health of children, making sure that they grow stronger, is really getting the world and the community in a, in a better place in the future. This platform will play a major role in creating a distinguished platform between the healthcare communities in Bahrain and the U.S. by working to discuss the most prominent and latest technological developments in a way that contributes to enhancing health services between the two friendly countries and building common understandings between the Bahraini healthcare community and major American hospitals. Cuban President Miguel Diaz-Canel received Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani on the sidelines of the Kingdom's participation in the Group 77 Plus China Summit on Science, Technology and Innovation. The Foreign Affairs Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Cuban Presidents, as well as their wishes for continued progress and prosperity to the Cuban people. The Cuban President requested the Foreign Affairs Minister to convey his greetings and appreciation to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Prime Minister, in addition to his wishes for further progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. President Miguel pr expressed gratitude to Bahrain for participating in the G77 Plus China Summit. Delegated by His Majesty the King, the Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Zayoni took part at the Groove of 77 Plus China Summit held in Cuba. The minister said the summit is being held amid demanding global challenges that need countries join hands and strive to harness the power of science, technology, and innovation. We meet today as members of the Group of 77 and China amid global challenges that require countries to join hands and endeavor seriously in order to harness the power of science, technology, and innovation to bridge the knowledge gap between peoples and to empower our youth and women to utilize modern technology in various fields and innovate solu solutions to deliver goals of sustainable development and advance our progress and prosperity. The Kingdom of Bahrain therefore reiterates the importance of today's international gathering and underlines its commitment to playing an active role in strengthening the international cooperation in science, technology and innovation and in all necessary development fields. We do so based on our conviction that by bringing together our efforts, energies and capabilities, we can transform challenges facing developing countries into real job opportunities. 
The Foreign Affairs Minister also affirmed Bahrain's commitment to cooperate with member states to face international challenges, noting that the kingdom believes in the importance of promoting sustainable economic growth. The Kingdom of Bahrain also recognizes the importance of international part partnerships and solidarity in addressing global challenges such as poverty, hunger, climate change, and sustainable development. We therefore stand ready to actively engage and cooperate with our fellow members in, of this group to develop innovative solutions and implement effective strategies to address these issues in a comprehensive and effective manner. The Kingdom of Bahrain believes in the importance of investing in knowledge-based industries to build co a competitive and sustainable economy. And through our national strategy for ICT sector and digital economy, the Kingdom of Bahrain has reaffirmed its commitment to a culture of innovation and research and to utilize science and technology as tools to enhance productivity, drive entrepreneurship, and address societal challenges by focusing on critical areas such as renewable energy, artificial intelligence, and digital transformation. The Minister of Labor and Board Member of the Institute of Public Administration, Jamil Ahmedan, attended the concluding ceremony of the first edition of Experiences Program, organized by the Institute of Public Administration in cooperation with a number of partners. The Minister affirmed the importance of unifying efforts between the public and private sector in supporting national plans and initiatives aimed at the youth and their professional development, as well as raising the competitiveness for the labor market. He stated that the Experiences Program aimed at job-seeking Bahraini youth and body is the concept of competitiveness, which is one of the pillars of the government plan 2023-2026. For her part, the Director General of the Institute of Public Administration, Sheikh Dr. Rana bint Isa Al Khalifa, stated the Experiences Program is one of the initiatives that are in line with national development aspirations aimed at developing and empowering the youth. She added that the Institute has been able to provide its affiliates with the best scientific and applied experiences as well as professional certificates. The delegation of the Parliamentary Division participating in the 9th Global Conference of Young Parliamentarians reviewed the comprehensive development achievements made by Bahrain during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King through Bahrain's interest in promoting digital transformation, supporting youth, consolidating sustainable development goals, and working to implement them. The participating delegation affirmed that Bahrain, thanks to the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, was able to achieve many development goals related to digital transformation and emerging institutions. They pointed out the importance of enhancing cultural participation between countries and transferring successful experiences from them. Recent statistics issued by Our World in Data revealed that the Kingdom of Bahrain ranked first in the Arab world in the percentage of individuals who use the Internet at a rate of 100%. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain enjoys an advanced digital infrastructure that contributes to accelerating the process of digital transformation, supports its economic growth in line with its requirements in the field of sustainable development, and this has been proven through its constant excellence in the digital transformation process. The Kingdom of Bahrain has become at the forefront of countries in terms of the rate of use of the Internet, according to a recent report issued by Our World in Data which revealed that the kingdom ranked first in the world in the rate of individuals' use of the Internet, along with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the UAE. This indicator proves the leadership of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the field of digital transformation among the countries of the world thanks to its continuous efforts in developing the digital infrastructure and enhancing the digital skills of its citizens in addition to providing an environment that supports investments in the field of digital technology. The CEO of Government Hospitals, Dr. Ahmed Lansari, stressed the keenness of Government Hospitals to continue developing and providing high-quality health services to citizens and residents in line with international health standards. This came on the occasion of the announcement of the Radiology Department at Salmania Medical Complex that it conducted 26,601 examinations in August compared to 20,479 examinations in August 2021. The CEO explained that the significant increase was achieved due to implementing a strategy to reduce waiting times. He praised the efforts of all health personnel in the department in serving a larger number of patients and reducing waiting lists 
indicating that work is underway to reschedule appointments according to the established methodology, stressing the necessity of adhering to the specific dates to ensure obtaining health services in a timely manner and not affecting treatment plans. Bahrain joined the world in marking the International Day for the Preservation of the Ozone Layer, which falls on the 16th of September. Bahrain is committed to its ongoing efforts to implement more plans and programs to preserve the ozone layer, which shields the Earth against ultraviolet radiation. And to speak more about that, we have with us on the phone the Chief Officer of Hazardous Chemicals Management Sections and National Ozone at the Supreme Council for Environment, Engineer Hassan Mbarak. Hello, Engineer Hassan. Can you tell us more about Bahrain's efforts in the preservation of the ozone layer and how the kingdom is contributing to international work in this regard? Hello, and thank you for providing this opportunity. Bahrain actually has ratified the Vienna Convention for the Protection of Ozone Layer Montreal Protocol on the substances that the bleed ozone layer in 1990 as a first step to preserve the ozone layer. That actually led to enacting new regulations to gradually phase out the ozone depleting substances such as CFCs and all relevant equipment, which was 100% achieved in 2010. Uh, Bahrain has launched a strategic plan phase out the CFCs at the remaining ozone depleting substances, and this plan uh, will continue until 2030. To fulfill this plan, Bahrain has created a refrigerant management model, a comprehensive and sustainable initiative to preserve the ozone layer, which includes updating regulation in line with the best environmental practices technician training, refrigerant recovery, equipment disposal, refrigerant containers, maintenance and record keeping, uh, refrigerant reclamation, and much more, actually. Part of implementing this model, the Supreme Council for Environment established the first national refrigerant reclamation center in Bahrain to recycle and reuse the refrigerant instead of venting them into the atmosphere. In addition, with the cooperation with the Minister of Education and Bahrain City for in, of Engineers, the Supreme Council for Environment launched a technician training program to train and license the technicians working in the installation and maintenance of ACs to enhance their practices to recover, reclaim, and reuse refrigerants according to the best environmental practices accredited worldwide. As the only country in the region, Bahrain has banned disposal refrigerant cylinders and adopted new standards for refillable cylinders to enhance the control and uh, tracking of uh, refrigerant in the market, which will lead to reducing the metal waste generated by disposable cylinders, as well uh, reduce the quantities of refrigerant vented into the atmosphere. Actually, these are the main efforts taken by Bahrain to preserve the ozone layer and protect our environment. These are definitely outstanding achievements for the Kingdom of Bahrain. That was Chief Officer for Hazardous Chemicals, Management Sections and National Ozone at the Supreme Council for Environment, Engineer Hassan Mbarak. Thank you for joining us.